Hi, everyone. How you doing? We're just kind of getting all our stuff together here. My wife wants me to get something. No, no, no. no. You sure? Yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, how is everybody doing today? I hope you're doing great. Um, we're doing pretty darn good here. We're getting ready to go on another cruise in about a month's time. We're going to Alaska. We just got off of cruise, it feels like. We did. <laughs> it's like people think we're ridiculous. We, they think we're rich or something. I don't know, but it, it, we're, we're lucky. It's really what it is. It's the best way to put it. We're really lucky. Um, hope everybody's doing well um, and everybody is enjoying their time. Can everybody hear us just fine? I just want to make sure. Um, hey, V Dog, how you doing? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Welcome to the show. Um, just like to thank everybody for who is joining us today. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about bucket list cruises. Main reason why I thought about this idea was um, I've been helping a lot of people doing some uh, pretty cool cruise planning for 50th anniversaries, all sorts of things. And it got me to thinking about bucket list cruises. And I was originally thinking the cruise we just did was kind of like a bucket list cruise for a lot of people. Yeah. I don't know if it was a bucket list. It wasn't list my for bucket us. list cruise. Yeah. It just yeah. was. It was just a nice way to get away and have a lot of sea days. That's for sure. It was a ton of sea days. Yeah. But um, we had a great time. Hey, Paula, how are you? I hope things are going good with you. Um, we are going to go over some of the things that I really want to do with cruising. Well, I'm day. trying to get situated. And Cheryl's trying to get situated. She's got her iPad. She's got mm -hmm. a dog on her lap. She's so just... I prepared for this kind of like I did college. Uh, I was out there doing working on something in the garage and Rob goes, uh, we have our uh, thing tonight. Our, um, and I was like, Oh crap. Cause I, I wanted to do research and I'm like, so I had an hour. Uh, so I didn't like do makeup or anything, but had an hour to go on my computer and get all this stuff. So I sent myself all these, some of these are not attainable in my lifetime, but, um, it would give him an idea of, where I'm thinking, I, I always look, so I know we do, we love celebrity, right? But I, I really want to do a, a yacht cruise. Yeah, that's a cool idea. The Ritz Carlton. Uh, yeah. those, we, those they really have, and we could book those too, if anybody wants to. Uh, but the Ritz Carlton have um, a lot of cruises. Um, yeah, those really, really small, like 100 people on the oh, ship. 48 people. Or 48 people, people yeah. on the ship. Um, yeah. But I got, I've got the stuff I got. So I, anyway, I sent it all to... Um, my email so I could just pull up PBS, cool. but um, celebrity does do the Galapagos. Yeah, I, I, have, that I, I have that on my list. I have that on my list. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that might be doable. Okay, but go ahead. Paula wanted to know where. Hi, Bonna. Oh, okay. yeah, Paula wanted to know where did we go? Well, we went to from Los Angeles and we did a 15 day cruise to Hawaii. Right. Um, so we left Los Angeles five sea days. Then we had two days in um, Oahu over by um, Waikiki and um, Honolulu. We were on the. Uh, Prince, no, we were on the Patients Discovery. The Patients Discovery. <laughs> the Discovery Patients. The Discovery Patients. <laughs> so, the elevators were, were not big, and yeah. then there were a lot of wheelchairs and scooters. Yeah. But and anyway, yeah, walkers. so that's where we went. And then we after um, after Ho Hawaii, then we went to the big island of Hawaii over at, uh, in Kona. And then we went back home, and we stayed on the ship in an Ensenada, and we went back oh, to Oh, I Angeles. love Ensenada. Yeah, she loves, she loves Ensenada because of the – our, 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 uh, the, the giant um, sea lions. I guess, oh, yeah, right? They would make a killing if they would sell fresh fish on the pier. And uh -huh. we're all, we feed them. There's Sandra. Hi, Sandra. How you doing? Congratulations. Sandra upgraded to the retreat and she got. Oh, lucky. Yeah. And she did it in a really cool way. She did yeah, it with, um, I said, I said, why don't you try, because there's a lot of aqua class sky suites available. Why don't you try the guarantee and you might get the aqua class at like a thousand dollars less than what they wanted. And she got the aqua class sky suite for a really, really good price. Congratulations. How you doing? Is that the retreat? Yeah, that's the retreat. Aqua oh, class I, I sky suite. Got the so she not only gets the retreat, she also gets, you know, blue the and the spa and all those things. Hi, Bonna. How are you? Nice to see you. Hey, Christy. How Her are you? Her name is not Bonna. It's <laughs> Aunt Bonna. <laughs> Hi, Christy. How are you? Nice to see you. Can't wait to do a bucket list cruise. You want to go to Antarctica, Galapagos, Iceland. Oh, a yacht cruise. Yeah, yacht cruise. She yeah, agrees with you. Yeah. We overheard. Oh, I have to go look at my blog. And because I wrote down, uh, we were eavesdropping. These lady behind us was saying she did Alaska 
on a yacht and that they would just like, they could pull over anywhere and, you know, they could change up the itinerary if mm -hmm. everybody agrees. And, um, and she said it was very reasonable. And right. so I have to go look and see what yacht thing yeah. that was. Yeah. Paul is doing a cruise with um, princess as well. You're going to love medallion class. I, I, I really, yeah, yeah. I really love that thing about. I lose Chris. my card way yeah. more than it. Like I got the little wrist. I also like just where I don't off. have to track you down and find like play where well, I can turn that off too. I know, but it's also nice, you know, where you never had to know, like, how do we meet up with each other? Yeah. Sometimes when you text and you can't get a hold of each other, that's good. And she's going to be doing a celebrity in June. That's going to be great. We love celebrity over here, yeah. Paula. Uh, we got Kathy here, Kathy um, Richmond here. She's going on her first celebrity cruise next year. You're excited. Love cool. celebrity. We love yeah. it. What cruise ship are you going on, Kathy? There's lots of cool things to see about celebrity. Um, anyway, so yeah, we do love, um, princess is pretty darn cool. Um, we just been, you know, it was, it was a much older crowd with our side when we went on that princess cruise. We've been, this was our third princess yeah. cruise, you know, so the other two that we went on was, well, we picked it because it was a travel agent special at, to familiarize ourselves with the ship. And yeah. otherwise, you know, we usually have criteria and, um, it, it was nice. The food wasn't great. You know, it just. I hate you been complaining because it's a cruise. It's still better than yeah. being home. Yeah. And, you know, the food was okay. I think what I call it was, it was like certain with 15, here's a question that Carl asked is 15 days too long. Right. I did a, just recently a video about long cruises. Yeah. Right. And what makes them different a little bit. And what I just think like when you're on a 15 day cruise or these really long cruises, you get these situations where um, it's hard for them to make, a menu for 15 days, oh. right? When you, when you're on a regular I bet your celebrity could have done. I don't know. We, menu. I don't we know. never, we never, but, but you know, like usually you get the Italian night and the French night and then the yeah. this night and then the that night. We got that with this one, but there was only like seven of them. Right. Yeah. And they were like saying, okay, what do we do with the other eight nights? Yeah. The funny <laughs> thing was at the top of the menu, it said uh, bread made special for you to go with your menu or whatever. It was the same bread every night. Hard little round rolls. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> you know, it just wasn't creative, I guess. Yeah, that's what I say. It was not, it was not inspired. It wasn't an inspired. Yeah. But even the import, you know, I mean, there just yeah. were no like, ooh, ah. Uh, they had a couple of yummy desserts, yeah. but. Erica, Erica said she's not, she did the celebrity ascent in February. Beautiful cool. ship. She did it right after us. We oh, did it we in love January. That one, yeah. What a beautiful dang ship. It was, yeah. you know, we I, love that. I like that the word I use is stunningly beautiful. Stunning. Yeah. And, um, we stand like celebrity too. Hey, Ralph, how are you doing? Ralph's going with us to Alaska. I'm sorry. <laughs> so she's saying us. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna have a good time, Ralph. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But anyway, bucket list cruises. So oh, Cheryl, yeah, no, Cheryl kind of hit one of the ones that you know oh, is, let me get my... you know, is one of my um my thoughts of where I wanted to go. Of course, a Galapagos Island cruise. Now that one does seem kind of unattainable for some strange reason because they're expensive. Even on the, oh, wait till you see the yeah. ones I found. Uh, they are expensive. Mm -hmm. Holy cow! Like for a for a ten night land sea cruise, and this is not even including airfare. Mm -hmm. They want like something ridiculous, like uh, like twenty thousand dollars each. No total. Oh, oh, oh sure, twenty thousand dollars. It's a car. <laughs> it's a car. She's like, no, no problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's a lot. You know, it's a lot of money, and um, you only get like seven days in the Galapagos, and then you so get. You think it'd be cheaper to fly to the Galapagos? You can't. Stay there? I don't know. You can't. It's, yeah, it's, it's a nature these, preserve. No, but some of these. You they start. Yeah, 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 you don't know. So yeah, you fly. fly yeah, you gotta fly, but you have to be on like a cruise ship. There's no place there's no to sleep lodging. on there. There's no lodging. I think. On me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there's like I don't think there's lodging. Is there lodging? Does anybody know? I don't know. But <laughs> I don't know. I read a book, <laughs> but, and the girl had a her honey honeymoon was like somewhere there in like uh, a cottage, and she had to take a ferry there or something. But it was a book, right? But yeah, I'm not sure if you know, if you can um, actually stay on the island, I wouldn't think you could. I mean, it's, it's a nature preserve, right? Well, and, people stay in Alaska and stuff like that. Well, but okay. Alaska is not a whole, the whole place is not a nature preserve. People live in Alaska, uh -uh. you know? So um, that's the one thing that I just don't know. Um, but yeah, go, but still, I just want to see it. I really want to see it. You know, you see all the nature shows and, yeah. and um, you, it, oh, you just geez. hear about it and you just, it's just one of those places that I want to go. Um, it's, it's definitely on my bucket list. If I had the money, um, 
old goat says, if I had your money, <laughs> he would go. Hey, I'm yeah. rich. I get 160 bucks a month. Uh, yeah, she, yeah, 160 bucks a month from the government for her for her, um, for her disability. Yeah, gig it. <laughs> Look, seven thousand a person. And what is this? The celebrity. Yeah, I know, but that's yeah, yeah. I, I I saw that one, but I like the flora. Well, the only problem is, though, that, so this one's the southern loop. Then they have, and that's 10 nights, and then they have the northern loop. And I'm like, well, well that, that's just the cruise only price. Right, not airfare, nothing. That, that's not, that, that, that's not. Yeah, the, but it oh. does have land tours. Oh, that's too. the land tour, yeah. So that, again, yeah. The, Ecuador, Ecuador. Yeah, so that sounds hot. There's a couple of different ships, right? There's the Explorer, and then they got the brand new Flora, which is absolutely gorgeous. The Explorer is, a, is still a beautiful ship, but it's nothing like the Flora. I was looking at the floor and that was like 20% off it. Oh, 20 percent off. percent off a million. And that number too that you see at that price, that's without taxes, of fees, course. and all that other stuff too. And they and they get you pretty high for there. Here's another girl. But by the way, old goat's coming with us to Alaska too. Hey old goat. <laughs> so, I don't know. How old are you, old goat? No, he's not too old. I'm he old. just likes to go by that. I'm old. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm usually the oldest. So the Galapagos is definitely one of us. And I want to go on the newer so ship. If the, I'm gonna go on to the Galapagos, I want to make sure. I'll spend the extra money just to, you know, have the really nice new ship and stuff like that. So this includes round trip airfare mm -hmm. from Quito. Quito. To Lima. Yeah, but you got to get to Quito. I know where I don't even know what country That's that is. Ecuador. Oh, is it? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, here it is. Air transportation from Ecuador yep. to Peru. Yep, there you go. And back and forth. Okay. Yep. Um, yep, exactly. But anyway, and then you can't bring much luggage. No, not a lot. Not not on that. Pounds or something. Well, you, it's an international flight. You can bring two bags of luggage. Yeah, but yeah. when you go the little crop hoppers, yeah, that uh, would be you tough. You can only have forty pounds. Oh, really? I not to yeah. exceed. Gotcha. You get at one check not to exceed forty pounds and one carry on seventeen pounds. Gotcha. Yeah, so it's it's kind of tight. But other than the Galapagos, one of my favorite, and I don't know, I. I have like no desire to go to China. I have no desire to go to like uh, um, Thailand. I'm gonna go or, to Japan. I that's where yeah, my I next one here is too. here because that's where I got right here, Japan cruise. I lived yeah. in Japan as a child, and you know, all I recall are gentle people, kind people. Mm -hmm. You know, not they don't. You know how a lot of countries you go to, and they're like oh, American, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever, and um, the French, but um not there They're just really kind gentle people yeah i've always in really liked the japanese culture you know from everything that i've learned about and, and just the the architecture and seeing you know the, the island the way it is and the mountainous islands and it's just something about japan that i always I think to we go. would have to learn so my physical therapist from the va i have her online mm -hmm. she and her husband are going to japan for the second time and they both are in classes Oh, to awesome. learn Japanese. They really like Japan. That's cool. Well, look at this one. Kobe, Japan. Look at all this. Yeah. Wow. Which Who's doing that one? That 14-nighter. Oh, I don't think I got the price on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a price on a Japanese cruise. Oh, you do? Yeah, it was for in 2026 in April uh -huh. on the Celebrity Millennium in a um, in a veranda. In a veranda? Oh, infinite veranda? No, regular veranda. Real like it, millennium is just, it's it, they don't i like that i know that the problem is yeah, that surprised the heck out of me because before. i can lay in bed and look at the water uh -huh. you know with the balcony you can lay in bed and see the balcony right yep but again yeah it's it is it is definitely different some people it is very i guess you would call it a you know it, it splits the community up <laughs> you know some people just don't like it some people you know, i was surprised cheryl loved it i knew she likes her balcony and i wasn't sure she was going to be okay with this but she said she really likes the balcony Here. because of the view. Four thousand seven hundred and sixty per person. I got a better deal. Yeah, but look, this is. Look. I know. I could tell you where mine's going. Okay. But um, anyway, the thing Azamara, that Azamara. Yeah. Oh, uh, Azamara. There you go. That's the reason right there. Well, I was looking luxury. at Yeah, I was looking at. If we're gonna go fantasy. I know that's true, right? Pretty well, big. When I was looking at the Japanese one for celebrity, I it was see. on the Millennium. And the Millennium has uh, um, a 12-night cruise, not a 14-night, right? And that one is basically going to go from Tokyo, right? Mm -hmm. And then it goes – it's a sea day. And then you go to Kyoto, um, Osaka. Mm -hmm. And you actually have an overnight in Osaka, which is pretty cool. 
Um, and, and then you go to Kochi, Japan, um, which is the capital of the Kochi pre um, prefecture. And then you go to Hiroshima. Right. And, then, and then you'll go another sea day. And then you go to Jeju Island in South Korea. You know, and then you'll go to we Nagasaki. Go to North Korea. Then you know, you know North Korea. No, then you go to Nagasaki, Japan. And then you go to Kagoshima, Japan. And then you have another sea day. Then you, you go think to Mount. Saying that right? Then yeah, I, I, it, it says Kagoshima. Kagoshima. It looks like I said it right. Okay. But um, Mount Fuji, um, Shimizu, Japan, and then finally back to Tokyo. Okay. So that's a twelve nighter. And you want to know what the price is? What? So it's got a group rate. I found a group rate for it. So normally for a veranda, it's nine thousand five hundred fifty-seven dollars for two people. With a drink package and Wi-Fi and a hundred percent refundable deposit, okay. with the group rate, it was six thousand two hundred dollars. I got one better. Better than total six thousand two hundred dollars. It's a Singapore to Ho Chi Minh City. I don't want to go to Vietnam. To Danang, I don't want to go to, to Hong Kong. No desire. To no desire. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Those are like open oh, out Kobe. Okay, yeah. yeah. So that's a, but that's only three thousand. Okay. okay. Why yeah. does it keep going to this window? Okay, I don't know, on. but anyway, um, I, I don't know. Does anybody have any desire to go to like Vietnam? Or has anybody gone? Or gone to Vietnam, and I'm completely wrong. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Vietnamese food. I mean, I can get, I can eat the heck out of pho. <laughs> I love that soup noodles, and I love the, it, I, it's just good food. But um, I don't know. I just have no desire to go to Ho Chi Minh City or anything along those lines. Haven't you ever seen Miss Saigon? Yeah. Look, this is one once, and that was good enough. Look at the price. <laughs> what is this Mediterranean? Well, where, where? What the heck is this? Twenty thousand dollars a person. Look, at, it's a National Geographic. But who's doing it? Um. What? What? what cruise Lind Lab on? Expedition. Oh, is it just like a land-based cruise? No, or, it's this. Look. Oh wow! Oh, it, it, it's one Naples. of. Oh, oh, so this is a yacht cruise. Yeah. Oh, it's twenty thousand dollars on a yacht cruise. <laughs> but look at look at all the places it goes. Yes. So, there's a place called Stromboli. Stromboli, I, it, it's Sicily, right? Oh, it's in Stromboli, Sicily. Yeah, and then it goes uh, to where's that? Close Dubrovnik. To? That's 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 um, Croatia. Okay, that's where it stops. Yeah. So if, if if you watch Game of Thrones, a lot of the cities that you see in the Game of Thrones in the in the in the show Game of Thrones was was um filmed in Croatia. Look at that. Was filmed in Croatia. So um, it's it's got that um that middle evil type of feel to all this their one's cities. Cheaper. Oh, it's cheaper. Look what, at what, this what, one. What, what's it starts in Barcelona and it ends in Athens. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Yep. That's gorgeous, but it doesn't stop in Santorini, so I don't want to go. Corfu, though. Yeah. Have you ever meet? What is the movie? The not Duchesne. I'm not sure. Oh, anyway. But Corfu. Yeah. I'd I'd say I can't say the name of all these places, but it goes all under the boot of Italy. Yeah, so it's basically doing a lot of the um, the islands in the Mediterranean. It looks like it's going to Corsica, it's going to Sardinia. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, it's going to a lot of those. You know, oh, even France going to Sicily France. and stuff like that. But so those are European cruises. So you really you want is a Mediterranean cruise one of your bucket list cruises? Yeah, yeah. but I don't want I want to. I don't want just uh, I've already cruised the Mediterranean for six months. I don't want to just hit the ports. You know what I mean? I want something not invasive. What is it? Interior. Uh, I don't city. know. Yeah, well, like the river, I think the river cruises in Europe is what I would be more, except for the Greek islands. Right. You know, because you can do that. On yeah, it. the cool thing about the Greek islands is, you know, it's a seafaring nation, right? So yes. all, all those cities are right by the water, except for Athens. Athens is a little bit more interior, but pretty much you go to Santorini, you go to Mykonos, you go to Rhodes, those are, those are all Crete, you know, those are all seafaring cities. Well, Azamara has a cruise. That and does it, all the islands. It, I think this is the one you were looking at because I go, I, I don't want to go to Turkey. We'll be taking hostage. No, you don't want to take hostage to Turkey. <laughs> but anyway, it goes Turkey, Turkey, Greece, 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 Greece. Oh, Crete, Greece, Greece. Yeah. Deep are, in Athens. Those are all the islands. Prices from 1800 which like I know that's not the price, but yeah. it's on Azamara. Yeah, and that's a good cruise line. Yeah. So that but, might be doable. But you got airfare. 
that's fine. It's, you know, you got to get there. But the thing is, is with our backs and my size, maybe that we could kind of sail there, <laughs> get a a transatlantic, and then hang out until they come back. Yeah, right. Yeah. We're gonna have to you be can in, work remotely. Be in Europe for five months, something like that, right? Because they usually go out in April uh, and come back in October. So yeah, it's a long, long time. But um, so that's the story with 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 uh, the Mediterranean. I think of the Mediterraneans. My bucket list would be more like the Greek islands. Yeah. Or maybe if I do want to do a land. Yeah, I would you know, tour. for land-based tours, I would want to go to Germany and interior of France, you know, to the Provence region and mm -hmm. Switzerland and stuff like that. France but, people aren't real nice to but I could speak I'm, French, so I'm okay. You cannot. A little bit. Oh, just like you speak Spanish. <laughs> well, it gets me by. <laughs> it okay. gets me by. So that's all okay, I Okay, so we did Asia. So yeah, we did Asia. Um, yeah, so Western Mediterranean, it's not like a bucket list for me, but I do want to go to Croatia because it just looks very pretty. Um, those, you know, Dubrovnik and Split and stuff like that. And you can kind of do that. But with don't the they have rivers? They have river cruises. Not for Croatia. Oh, they don't? Okay. Not for Croatia. But um, usually most river cruises either start in Budapest, Hungary, mm -hmm. and go into, you know, through Germany, up, into, up through Germany and into Amsterdam. There's also some French ones. There's also some Portugal and Spain ones. Yeah, there's that. there's a few of them like that. So but, unless we learn Spain, I, they, I saw it a Spain one would be interesting, but I'd like to speak Spanish better. Yeah, we could definitely do something like that. But what about Northern Europe? Have you thought about Northern yeah, Europe? There you go. So um, Northern Europe, it's sort of like you know we we're doing Alaska now for the third time, but the European Alaska is like going to the Scandinavian countries. Um, so Look, like, I got Dublin. Oh, you're talking about the British Isle cruises. I got that. I got, uh -huh. uh, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six places in Ireland, wow. Belfast, UK. Uh, then well, uh, Belfast London. is Ireland. It's Northern Ireland. Well, but it it's, it's UK. Yeah, it's owned by the British. Well, London, and Derry, Northern Ireland, uh -huh. and Scotland, and then at uh -huh. sea, and then two ports in Norway. Yeah. That's really nice too. That's if you want to do a really intensive Ireland cruise around that's the around says. the Green Island. Yeah, and that, that's, that's pretty. That's so pretty a lot cool. of those I pulled up on Azamara. Yeah, they got good the itineraries. Smaller, yeah, yeah. Azamara does tend to have really, really good itineraries for you know in general, you know, really interesting ports. If you want to do more of a you know a larger cruise line with really good ports, you have to take a look at Holland America. Yeah. Because Holland America has some really, really, really interesting um, itineraries. Now, the, the, just like Azamar and, and our recent cruise, there's going to be a lot of older crowd on Holland America. That's okay. But, um, you know, it just, I know it made you a little sad because yeah. you were thinking about, especially if you do an Ireland cruise with yeah, a lot of older actually, people, I couldn't even you'll look go at all nuts. The, all the scooters oh my gosh, and go nuts. the wheelchairs. And then my first thought would be like, oh, that would be a good one for my mom. And then, oh. And then I go, why did they get to grow old? And she, anyway, so don't make me, you just want to make me cry. I didn't Stop. want to make you cry. I'm okay, just here, this is one, what you're talking about then, like this, look. Yeah, that one. That's, this is a 15 night. Uh-huh. That's really good. Read that. What is? What, so I don't know, though, but a port every day, I'm tired. I want to get up and go every morning. <laughs> so you got Copenhagen, yeah. Bisbee, oh, so Denmark, Sweden. Bisbee, Sweden, Stockholm, Sweden, Helsinki, Finland, which I want to go to Finland. Uh-huh. Katka, Finland, uh, Tallinn, Estonia. Tallinn, Estonia, yep. At sea, then Riga, Latvia. I can't even speak regular English anymore. And then in somewhere Lithuania. in Lithuania, and then somewhere in Poland, Poland, and then I don't even know what that is. Bornholm? That the place? Rowan. Bornholm, yep. Uh, Germany, uh -huh. Germany at sea, and then Southampton, England. That's really pretty. And then... Hang out in England. There's it, it's yeah. 15 nights. There's also some that go really, really, really far, far north, like really? the furthest north in in Norway. Um, I forgot the name of the port that goes all the way up there, but there's some really amazing cruises that are like that. It's like a I kind of look at it like those cruises into Norway, like that, into the fjords, is sort of like the, the European version of um of alaska cruises nah, you don't think I, I bet it's more spectacular our alaska one is like mm, it all kind of <laughs> looks the same yeah well i mean I'm, trees yeah, well that's what that's what you're going to be with the fjords and stuff like that but it's going to feel feel different because you're in a foreign country yeah maybe 
But um, I think, you know, you're going to get very similar landscapes. Have you ever done a um, Northern European cruise? Let us know in the comments. Um, and let us know if you've done an Alaska cruise and if there's any similarities. Am I just nuts? You know, I could be just nuts because I've never been to a Norway cruise. And I would love to, you know, that's one of the ones that are on my bucket list to go up to Norway and stuff like that. I've been there. Now, there's also the British Isles cruise. That one's a good one right there. That one's like around the horn type of thing where it goes from London. I've seen ones that also go from uh, Dover and go completely around the island, right? And goes, you know, goes to Edinburgh and um, also goes to uh, Liverpool. Well, this one leaves Portsmouth, England, mm -hmm. and then hits a bunch of spots, stops a couple times in Ireland and Scotland. And goes to the Shetland in, Islands. Yeah, and ends in yeah. Edinburgh. Yeah. I don't know if you'll get me home. <laughs> Give me some men with the brogues. But the, you know, because she loves that. Sass what, Nash. What's that? Um, Outlander. Not, Outlander. She's an Outlander fan. Who's an Outlander fan out there? Let her know. See, Cheryl will be very happy to hear if you're Outlander. So if you fans. don't know, Diana Gabaldon, uh, if you listen to it in audiobook, don't listen to it out loud. It has some very steamy stuff in it. But anyway, she writes a lot of uh, stuff about Scotland and it's awesome. So anyway. But yeah, those I are like that one. Those are definitely, you know, British Isles. You got to go during the, you know, the warmer weather. And why? I, it's just cold and dreary if you don't go in like in Yeah, July but what if you want to like do that. an Antarctic thing? And how do we get to from London to Antarctica? No, I'm mad. I'm talking about. <laughs> you're talking about. You want to go in the warm months. What if you want to go somewhere that's not really warm? No, but ever. I'm just saying it's just like from what I. Well, I the British people always come. Every British person I've ever met on a cruise always talks about how dreary and cold and rainy it is in the UK. And I would hate to be on a cruise ship in April in the British Isles when it's 45 degrees and rainy. <laughs> yeah, well, we did do Alaska during rainy season and we pretty much stayed on the ship and just looked out the front window going, yeah. Oh, look at the waterfall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so that's what I'm saying. If I'm going to do a British Isle cruise, I'm going to have to try to do it in July, you know, where at least I got a chance of, even if it is raining, it's not too cold. <laughs> so so that's 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 me with that. Um, now, there is other people talk about going to Antarctica. Do you have yeah. a desire to go to Antarctica? Maybe. I have no desire to go to Antarctica. <laughs> I don't know because a, it's I hear I hear the list. waters a very well. Maybe this might be fun. Well, we're not. We we like beach. rough. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. We like rough waters. I do like rough waters. We, and and, and we like wearing coats because you know you can yeah. cover up all your rolls right. where a bathing right. suit can't hide them. And um, I you know going through Drake's Passage, I heard is like really like a roller coaster. You know, yeah. with the ship and stuff like that so that might be fun about going to an antarctica cruise yeah is but, the azores on that side no azores a lot of people go to the azores when they're doing transatlantic right um leaving from florida they'll stop off at the azores before they get into europe right so that's where those are um so um a lot of people get those azor islands on transatlantics which is is that a bucket list cruise for you would you want to do a transatlantic or is it not like a no, bucket no no i I want to do one. I, it's not one of my. I did one. You did. A I few. did two. <laughs> there and back, right mm -hmm. to the med, and now these are not cruises like what we're talking about. But folks. still, been there, know. done that. Cheryl is ex Navy. Thank you for your service. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> these cruises she's talking about with the med <laughs> cruise and the transatlantics <laughs> are when she was with the Navy on a ship, and that's ship. where it went. Yeah. It went to Cuba twice, Fort Lauderdale, um, Jamaica, Bahamas. Those were recreational things. And then we did Bergen, Norway, North Atlantic. And then mm -hmm. we did the Mediterranean for six months. So we hit all those ports. Um, not, but I was like 18, 19. So that was a mm -hmm. million years ago. Yeah. So I think, you know, to me, you know, going to Antarctica, it's like, there's certain things like there's certain places like they say, and you, you have to be a certain size ship in order to like make landfall on Antarctica. Most of the bigger cruise lines, if you're going to do an Antarctic cruise, it's more of a drive by. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, there it is. There it is. Goodbye. You know, so it's sort of like that. You want to see penguins? Well, you're going to see it in the Falkland Islands. I said Falkland. 
Falkland Islands. <laughs> Why? What is the sound? Oh, the F sounds word? like the word. Sounds like the F. Oh, I thought of the thing. So what? That was one of the best times when there was the war in the Falkland Islands back when we were, and, when, and when the you would get like newscasters <laughs> today in the flipping islands. I'm like, <laughs> he did it. <laughs> okay, so Corfu. Corfu. We talked about threes. So uh -huh. there was a show called The Durrells, D U R R E L L S. Um, and it's based on Gerald Durrell's classic trilogy of Corfu memoirs. And it's awesome. So that's what made me want to go to Greece. Although there was a show when my sister and I were young called Summer Lovers, where these two girls took in this one guy. And anyway, that was in Greece. That was nice too, but this was more family. <laughs> anyway, this was more normal. I, I really liked it. So watch it. The Durrells in Corfu. Gotcha. I thought you were going to say something like, you know, ABBA. What was that with? Uh, oh, yeah, that was Mamma Mia. Too. That was Greece, too. That was, I like that, too. Yeah. <laughs> but the Corpus reminds me of that, uh -huh. of Mamma Mia, too. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking she was going to be heading yeah. toward. Well, that wasn't, <laughs> that was a musical. This that was is actually based on a guy's memoir. Cool. Memoir. But, um, yeah, so that, so. Unless you're on like these really, really small cruise ships that go, or they call them expedition cruises, right. um, that go to celebrity to, has, yeah, yeah, they have a couple of them, but um, the expedition cruises where there's smaller ships, they can make landfall onto Antarctica, um, and those look somewhat interesting, but those are usually extremely, extremely expensive, um, because there's only a certain amount of um, people that they allow onto onto the um, landmass per year. So it's like, you know, what? yeah, they got it. Like, it's like some sort of international coalition that said X amount of visitors a year done. <laughs> so, and, you know, as a, as a world organization, we, you know, like with, with uh, the United Nations, we, we're, we could barely figure out what the heck to do, but yeah, they make regulations for Antarctica just like that. <laughs> so, we could do that. So. Anyway, um, yeah, so Antarctica, I don't know if that's on a bucket list, but you know what might be on a bucket list for me outside in, in the Asia Pacific area? What? I like to go to Australia. It's a long, long flight yeah. to get there. It's I understand sharks. that. You know, I, I, I'm not, I'm on a cruise ship. I don't have to worry about the sharks. <laughs> but, you know, it's just. I don't know. It's don't something. go on any volcano tours. No, no volcano tours. If you didn't Wait. see the Netflix show, anybody volcano, see volcano? You gotta watch it. It's kind. Of, it's it's scary, but it's also kind of funny. I don't know why. No, me. that it. Well, the one guy. So there was a couple newlyweds. Right. They were doing a tour. They were. I think were. On, was it Royal? It Caribbean? was Royal Caribbean. So they did a tour off of Royal Caribbean, and. You know, it just was red exciting. You know, oh, do this. He goes, nowhere did it say there's a risk of it. Uh, uh, it could say active volcano. Yeah, but I'm just saying, though, there wasn't a be away. You know, now they've seen. I'm sorry. This is a while back. I, like, I'm sorry. Put the coffee is hot at McDonald's. I, I'm sorry. You know, the culture of. Exactly. But listen, exactly. No, I agree with you. We're that kind of yeah. culture. That, so it, this unless one, they, oh, hello. Unless mm -hmm. they say, like, you know, this is an extreme risk. Yeah. Or there's a risk. People don't think there's a risk. To me, if I see active volcano, yeah, I'm like not getting anywhere near the thing because so this I, guy. <laughs> so the guy goes, you know, it was like a a bucket list, once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, so him and his wife took this tour, and a family of four took this tour and off the ship. So they take it two hour. This is off of uh, New Zealand, right? right yes, New, two off hour of New boat ride out to the volcano, and. Um, if the one lady goes, you know, I, I just didn't feel comfortable. And I asked the tour guide about, you know, does this erupt? He goes, well, not often. And usually it's at night. And, you know, it like the volcano is on yeah. schedule. Usually once a year. <laughs> and so she goes, well, when was the last time? And he was like, well, not in months, three weeks and six days ago, something like that. And um, so anyway, they survived. Uh, but he's got like, this part of his skin where she had him is the only part of his body that isn't burned. But he goes, and his complaint is that, you know, it, had I been warned, you were warned about the possibility, <laughs> I could have made an educated decision to come or not. 
And uh, yeah, but anyway. And that's and where it, I'm, and this is me yelling yeah. at the TV going, dude, it says active volcano. Yeah. But yeah, so the ship, you know, so the, the, the question is, you know, who's liable? Nobody. Yeah. I, 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 the question, yeah, who's liable? But it's made me go, okay, I'm not going to go to yeah. that. I'm not going to do it. Was the v Dog says he's only done one cruise so far. He's on the Royal Caribbean, the Lord of the Seas. I've been there twice. Yeah, we've been on, <laughs> yeah, we, we've done the Lord of the Seas a couple times up yeah. to the Western Caribbean, seven nights. It is Loved beautiful it. and it is. Is that the one with Playmakers? Yep. Uh huh. No, 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 not, not, no, 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 no. Playmakers is on, was on Navigate. Oh, did this one the peak place with the soda thing? Yes. Across yes. from the yes. cafe thing. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. I didn't remember. <laughs> she something. remembered some, but um, yeah, we, we the lore of the seas. We've been on the lore three times, and it's a great ship. Yeah. I like the fact that it doesn't have the whole water park deal on there. It doesn't have like the yeah. slides and stuff like that, and it doesn't have the the ultimate abyss. So it's not as like some people say it's not as kid friendly as the other Oasis. I'm like, ships. I'm trying to think. Of, yeah. Which do they have Central Park? Yeah. Okay. That. Did it have Johnny Rockets? Yeah. Did it have the dive show off the back? Yeah. Okay. That's the one. We had one. We <laughs> had a, a balcony that was right. But. Almost the last one. It wasn't the last one because that was a sweet. Mm. But it was, we had a balcony and we could watch the movie. And then we go, every night we saw the dive show. Which is pretty cool. It was cool. Except for the the plexiglass right, it was, right was, all line, scratchy, it was all scratched up right in your line of vision yeah. so but it was still cool it know, was to, cool we had like a we had like stadium seats you know like yeah, the but, box seats up on the top to kind of yeah. see but, but i still prefer to see the ocean yeah i know i don't want to see more people i know i, I know. like to get out there and pretend i'm alone in the world that she no does people. that she does but anyway um jason hey jason how you doing we got jason saying how about the Ascent Hunt? Those, hey guys, good to see. You. Hi, Jason. Hope you're doing good. Jason was um, the people who went with us to the. Um, oh yeah, they say this those great seats yeah. so you can get the good uh, video of the show where the guy got hurt. You said later. What do you mean? And then you, remember they went. Oh, they went to. They, they were at Paradise with us. They, they, oh, that's it. That's hey. it. Oh, his girlfriend's <laughs> yeah, a nurse. Yes, exactly. Okay, okay. That's I'm thinking Jason. the people who yeah. skipped dessert so they could go save us. No, no, uh, that, that, those are other people. That was really cool of them yeah. too. But um, yeah, Jason, how you doing? Nice to see you again. I hope you're doing good. Um, we can't wait to get back on the ascent. We're going back on the ascent in December we, for your birthday cruise. Are my kids coming? You keep on asking that question. We just brought them I on a 15 yeah. day Here's cruise. The thing. So my kids are, you know, not well, not doing much. And so I want them to be with me because next year they may not be here anymore. Who knows? As in as in not like they'll still be here. No, on this they earth. may not be. People die. You I know? understand. But still, so I but I want if we are able, I want to bring I want to experience these things with my kids understood jason says he's good <laughs> and we didn't skip the desserts <laughs> yeah yeah well we there was who what were the names of the couple that they told they were the ones that um saved you seats at the 10 45 show and they saved us seats so when the people when that one guy came swinging out over the top of us, we did the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, Not at the 1045 show, but at the yeah, 9, whatever. Yeah, the 930 show. I know what you're they talking about. They saved us those seats right up front. Yeah. Um, I can't remember their names that did that. That's, that's bad. I can't remember yeah. their names. But anyway, that was cool. Because they were the ones that said, uh, you know, well, Rob already knew, go to the, what's that? The Eden show. Eden show early so you can get a seat, right? Mm -hmm. Not maybe. So... Um, so they did that too, and um, Rob loved the Eden. I didn't see, oh, yeah. I wasn't feeling well that cruise, but Rob went and saw a bunch of those. Yeah, those are Eden great shows. shows. I love those shows. I think the whole experience on the ascent was great, and I think it, yeah, it was good. And I think you know, our kids will really, really enjoy that cruise. Oh, yeah, I just wish they would be 21 so they can take advantage of the drink package, but. <laughs> But anyway, because that's where it costs a lot extra with the group rates. And, you know, if they're not going to be able to use it, then we just get them cruise fare only. Yeah. And um, They just seem like they're like, oh, cruise. You know, like when we did that with the drink package on the last cruise, yeah. they felt like, oh, 
<laughs> yeah, but well, one did, one didn't. Yeah, exactly. But even though like they can't get a soda, I know you feel all or nothing. So Charles is online. We're going to be any. Um, we will be there. Any inaugurals together on the inaugural MSC America cruise? Yes, we are going to be on that. Our kids are going. Our on kids that, are right? going on that one. We, we got to get our we got a kid on. Yeah, that we one. got a few other people that are coming along on that one. We have. Uh, um, I think you know. There's just. A, I think we got about nine cabins. Um, yeah. Sold on that one. So we're we still got some more um, group rates on that one. So if you have anybody that you want to come on, come, in, come on the MSC World America. They have a brand new cruise coming out. I originally was thinking about canceling yeah, that one after the after hearing about so many bad customer service issues, and I'm not going to get into it yeah. with with other people's issues. But I mean, that. we so we got one very personal story. Who they still would go on, right? But you know, buyer beware kind of thing. Right. If if you don't have any problems where you need help help from customer service, maybe something's not right. I, the attitude seems to be not my fault. Not yeah. our fault, you yeah. know. So good luck. Yeah. So anyway, but then you know, it's like sort of like you bought a cheap cruise. What do you expect? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that type of thing. Yeah, but, but they were in the and yes, there will be get-togethers too, Charles. We we always, oh yeah, we, we love always, to we always get, get to, cabana. We, we always get together. We get cabanas. Is it we, called a cabana? Yeah, that didn't sound right. Yeah, okay. cabana. We did that on the ascent. We got it. We're going to get a cabana. Um, we're going to get a cabana on the beyond when we're on that. Um, there's a bunch of different things we'll do together. And we usually send out an email about 30 days before the cruise um, about what we're going to, you know, what we're planning on. Now, it doesn't yeah. mean you have to do it or if you don't want to do it, yeah. who the heck cares? Well, you know what I suggested? It's your vacation, but there will be get together. What I suggested to Rob is that when we have a group, you know, not, well, we've been in the airport and there's a guy going around, travel with Alan, tra you know, holding up a sign, gathering his people. I mean, not looking like anything like that, mm -hmm. but, um, and Rob likes to do the, well, here's where I'm going to be on what day. But I was thinking if everybody has like a shared interest on a, a tour opportunity or something, mm -hmm. you know, we also can book tours and we can get a discount and then mm -hmm. we could, you know, any of the people that are coming with us. Yeah, we get them to the discount. Yeah, and we can all go on the same tour and have fun or whatever. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, we're, we definitely get together with that. We let people know what we're planning on. Um, maybe we'll do that for like the coming up on the Aruba cruise. Um, yeah, but I thought, okay. you know, if people can send us messages, um, you know, about a certain kind of tour. Is there any such a creature, you know, instead of just what the ship offers? Sure. And we can definitely work And a lot of them have um, the guarantee about getting you back on time kind of thing yeah and which is always a concern a lot of times as long as i'm familiar with the port i'm usually okay with not having to go with the cruise line um you know i'm as long as i have that familiarity there i'm good but um if it's someplace new i'm sometimes like well, i don't know i'll try <laughs> um but yeah but yeah that's the thing, right? I, I just have to feel comfortable in the location before I try to, because yeah. I don't know, like, you know, how long is it going to take to get me from point A to point B? I don't know. Well, like how many people are going to Alaska with us? Not many. That's not too many. Okay. That yeah. That's because the Alaska tours are like redonkulous. Oh, it's so expensive. expensive Alaska yeah. cruises. Yes. They but, are. um, so I emailed the guy, the, the guy's name, mm, I just lost it. Steven. Right. Or something like that. Anyway, He's in Ketchikan, and he's the guy that came on board and sung the songs and told us stories about yeah. the history and stuff. Um, they actually have tour the train or streetcar, yes, yeah, streetcar tours or something. Oh, cool! But anyway, um, if he is on there, his name I don't. He, Unfortunately, we're not going to be in, going to Ketchikan. Oh, we're not. No. Oh, great. <laughs> no, we're going to be in Sitka. We're going to be. No, we're in going S to Sitka. No. Yeah, Sitka. First time ever in Sitka. Ah, everybody see the proposal. Oh, um, no. Here we go. <laughs> Sandra Bullock. Yeah, Sitka. Sitka. Sitka, Alaska. Sitka. So we're gonna that's gonna be our first time ever in Sitka. Yeah, cool. yeah. Um, we're gonna be in Sitka. That's going that's what was switched out for Kachikan of Sitka. Oh, okay. And we go and then we're gonna be in Skagway. That's Skag a little cool. We're gonna be in Skagway. No, I just said Skagway. No, you said Oh, you said I meant Kachikan. Skagway, my okay. bad. Cool. Okay, so yeah, he's yeah, if he's in Skagway, we're gonna be in Skagway. Okay. So look. Yeah. Bucket list tour. So mm -hmm. This one is a 10 night celebrity, right? Uh -huh. Oh, this is the one with the land sea cruise. Yeah. Right? It's Where got you, it's the, these are the wonder, these are the either you go northern yeah. route or you go southern, where you first do the land, 
Cruise first or the Land Cruise second? Yeah, so this one's yeah, pre tour. So uh -huh. it goes Anchorage, uh -huh. Denali, Denali, and then Seaward. Uh huh. Seaward. And then you get onto the ship. The Hubbard, Glacier, Juno, yeah. Skagway, Icy Strait, Ketchikan, Inside Passage, and Vancouver. Right, yeah. So those are the sea, land sea tours. Yeah. They tend to be a little pricey, just so you know. Yeah, folks. let me see what did this one say. Look, They're like, they, they, they start off like around four grand. Then you got airport. Airfare, yeah. Airport. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading this port <laughs> expense. Um, yeah, so they start usually for an inside around four grand. And if you want it, uh, uh, you know, a, uh, yeah, and who a wants an inside cabin? Not in for Alaska. Alaska. Not for Alaska. I mean, I plan on. I'm not sure. How, are we flying to? A, oh, <laughs> Aunt Bonna says we need matching ball caps for everyone. Oh, matching ball caps for everybody. But not gotcha. everybody likes to wear hats. I'm wearing a hat because I was working in the yard and forgot we were doing this, and my hair was frightening. So that's why I'm out of it. I don't know why this dog is so needy. She just wants to be on TV. I guess. The um, but the Alaska thing is like, oh yeah. So wait, are we flying to Seattle? Yes, we're flying to Seattle. Okay. So I want to bring a, a tripod because most of Alaska tour for me is going to be looking for whales. Whales, or you know, I'm going to be up up on the deck trying to get good pictures. Do some really cool time lapse photography. Maybe I don't know. But anyway, so we've got to bring the. The tripod. tripod, okay, which is a luggage thing. But the good thing is, is you know, you don't have to bring a lot of beach wear. <laughs> no, but you got to bring a lot of heavy clothes. Yeah, and our clothes are big. We, yeah. Big people, big clothes. So yeah, but um, Alaska is one of the. But you can wear all your layers of clothes on. A lot of people plane. consider Alaska a bucket list cruise. Yeah, that is true. You know. But also, a lot of people imagine. Alaska with a lot of scooters and wheelchairs and stuff. And it wasn't like that. No, it's not. We've she, been a couple times. Yeah, a lot of times you do get a lot more active people. I think on it Alaska. depends what, like you said, what ship you pick. Yeah. Like if we budget shop for Alaska. And I think if you go on a longer cruise in Alaska, like a 10 night or a 14 night, you'll see more older folks. But when the seven nighters, you don't tend. Yeah. Cause that yeah. basically is a seven nighter yeah. plus the land tour. Exactly. You'll get more active people doing that one. But, um, in general, that's what we think. Um, bring your binoculars to Alaska. Yeah. Said Jason. Well, that was what was cool about, what did we have, concierge class? Yeah, they give you. They, they gave us binoculars. binoculars. And I panicked after we packed. And I was looking, okay, there's the umbrella. It goes with the room. I was like, oh, my God, I lost. I packed the binoculars. And I started freaking out. And I told the room steward, he goes, oh, no, we collect them. And I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> But uh, but that if you ever do the concierge, that it's worth it. You get better shampoo. Yep, you get all little nice little yeah. amenities with the concierge, and you get extra bonus points to go up the loyalty tree faster. Oh, do you? You do. You get instead of three points per night, you get five points per night. And the canapé. Oh yeah, the canapés. Canapés. Yeah, the princess. We got. Uh, they were always gross things every day, every mm -hmm. time they did it, which wasn't often. <laughs> okay, wait, so here's, a, that was the last one. Here's another one, the Canada, New England one. Oh, full foliage. And we lived up there, but we never did it, but um, there were two. One had more of the inner whatever. Uh -huh. so this one is Azamara. It's 12 nights. Yep. It goes from Boston to Portland, Maine, to Eastport, Maine, to St. John, New Brunswick, wow, Halifax, that's... Nova Scotia, Sydney, Nova Scotia, Quebec, Quebec, um, scenic cruising in the something Saguenay Fjord, Canada, and then Quebec, Quebec, and then Montreal, Quebec, or wow. Quebec City, which Quebec we City. went for a honeymoon. Yeah, in Montreal, now there honeymoon. Celebrity does one like that, similar, but not that's like twelve days. Yeah. yeah, Celebrity does one from Boston. That is yeah. a seven, a twelve night round trip um, I think I have that from one Boston. Too. That does an overnight in Quebec City as well. Oh, really? It just doesn't go as far deep into See, that, Yeah, that one had the fjords of whatever. Right, and right. it looked, you know, I go, yeah. we've never done that. Yeah, exactly. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, here's the, oh, no, this one is colonial. So this one is different too. This is uh, Azamara. Azamara as well. night though, but it goes from Montreal, Quebec City, then Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia, coming back down, then Portland, Maine, then Boston. In Cape Cod. Oh, this is like almost Newport, like a Rhode Island. Like, this is almost like a repositioning. No, it's just no New York City, Baltimore, and Charleston, and Miami. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's repositioning from up but north to that's down so south. That's so cool. But it's called a yeah. uh, the Colon uh, 
Canada and Colonial America voyage. Right. That sounds pretty cool. That does sound pretty cool. Yeah. But it's probably got a lot of taxes. Yeah. And there's going to be a lot of older people because on the, the American, American ports. ports. Yeah. And it's also going to be a lot more older because it's a 15 night. But I like yeah. it because, you know, we could see our friends in New York. Yeah. You know, and yeah. Maryland. Yeah. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool little trip there. Yeah. South Carolina, Charleston, which is pretty cool. Yeah. It's a nice little cruise. Yeah. But, um, and it's free. Yeah. No, it's, uh, but back to Australia, you know, you said, you know, you're not that, you know, that's a long flight, you know, like in, in order yeah, to get there, that's know. like a, that, that's like a whole day in air. Well, what about those airlines that have like the beds that I see on Facebook? Yeah, you can, if you want to pay like $5,000. Airways or well, something? Like, it's Qantas and all sorts of ones like that. They do have the lay down beds. I said, where they show like a service dog laying in bed. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a very pricey, those planes <laughs> like that. But that's the thing, right? For those long flights, we're going to have to spend a lot of money for the flights because yeah. with, between your back and my size, you know, yeah. it's going to be if we do something like that. And yeah, I'm not going to the volcano. Well, you instead could, of going to instead of going to the volcano, I'll go see Hobbiton. You in could New make Zealand. it a uh, um, a motivation to lose She's, weight. I've lost weight so many times up and down not so down. many i just well two years ago i lost almost 100 pounds no. and i put it yeah not two years ago well what was it, three no. years ago when you had that band put in no you lost like 100 pounds no but, but no. i got down to 315 pounds with you know when just i was saying it was it was okay it wasn't 100 pounds it was 85 but still that was with the band no this was during covid when i was on remember the picture you said look how skinny you were no i don't oh my gosh but yeah, I got down to 315. And <laughs> she's not great. I, she, she, <laughs> See? Mm, I'm not going to argue. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, waste their time arguing. So that's the story. Yeah. So I now think, Australia. I don't know. There's something about a lot of snakes. I, I want to see the Great Barrier Reef. I want to snorkel on the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah, they have Reef. a lot of sharks. <laughs> you say that about the Bahamas, too. No. Yeah, you did. Well, <laughs> yeah. But, but not, um, yeah, but I don't know. Australia is not on my list. Not on your list. No. What about like uh, like going through the Suez Canal? I want to see Bali. Bali. Yeah, that, that's another reason. Maybe we could do that. Maybe we go from Hawaii to, uh, to Australia on a half tra Trans-Pacific, mm -hmm. and then you can do the French Polynesia. That's Some of them do that. Are that's they as snobby as real French people? I know they're Polynesian just um, because it's French. This just means the French used to yeah. own them. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. And so anyway, Hey Rob, what celebrity ships? Here we go. Hey Rob, what celebrity ships not edge class have used guys sailed on and not recommend use, that not use guys, use guys. I sound like, you know, my Binky. cousin Vinny, but uh, we've been on the eclipse, which is a solstice class ship. And, it's very nice. Yeah, I got pictures and stuff on yeah. my thing. If you want to go look. Yeah, it's. I really like the Eclipse. It's a smaller ship. Um, they're true verandas. Um, they're 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 great ships. Those those um solstice class ships. Um, there's just not as much um shows going on like there is on the edge class ships, which you have the Eden production staff and the um the um main theater production staff so there's about half the amount of shows that are going on um but it's a good ship the great you know the food okay. the food was good that was our first celebrity experience right. so it was good yeah the eclipse yeah. and that's where we had the concierge right mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. that was good but yeah it's a good ship i enjoyed it it's, it's a nice ship and it had the, Wait, had, the one that had the library. Uh, yep, had the library. Yeah, I liked it. You know, Princess didn't have library yeah. or a card room. Um, they also had that observation sky lounge that you liked up front that looked forward. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's, that was something. The princess didn't have a place, uh, like a a great place to go sit. Right. To you watch know, the world root. go by. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of their stuff was outside rather than you know. Yeah, or just right in the middle of everything. Mm -hmm. Not quiet. So, but that's the story. I think we've kind of gone through pretty much all our bucket lists. Yeah. If you have any bucket list places that you want to go, folks, let us know. Um, I have no desire to do any Africa. Dubai or Africa I actually, cruises. Or I don't know why. Like so this is how. What about I, South America? I see a lot of South America cruises too. The Buenos Aires and yeah, yeah, Rio yeah. de Janeiro and those type of things. Yeah. It, you know, this is how 
don't pick on her. This is how small um, my my world is, though, because um, like I used to think New York was all tall buildings and cement, right? But South America, all I think is is crime and cartels. And yeah, which isn't, but yeah, I'd want to go to the like the the small towns and villages, not like uh, Rio or um, Buenos Aires, Pal, um, San Paulo, San Paulo, Argentina. Wait, where is um Portuguese? That's that's Buenos Aires, Argentina. No, 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 no. That's um Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. 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 I don't yeah. want to do Brazil. Um, but and it's just my own ignorant bias. But same thing with South Africa. Beautiful, but I'm afraid of pirates, you know, boarding the ship. I don't Why know. do you think there's pirates in South Africa? And that where the that no, that's like a, Tom Hanks. Thing. No, no, that was in the over by the, the Suez Canal. I thought it was Africa. Yeah, it is, but it's over by the Red Sea. Well, Africa. yeah, Africa's right off the Red Sea. I know. Well, I just think <laughs> Africa. Africa. Yeah. And then the other one is um. Oh, Dubai, and over there, I was like, oh, don't want to go anywhere over there either. <laughs> the, just my own ignorance. <laughs> I don't know. I have really, you know, maybe one day if the just things settle down down there, um, I would love to go to Israel and to Egypt and see those things. I've been there. But I've never been there. And, you know, I would love to go to see, you know, Jerusalem and Bethlehem and the the, the pyramids and the Sphinx and um, all the things in, in Egypt. I, I just would love to. But, you know, it's just... Too, I just feel it's too dangerous right In now. The world's not a safe. It's place. not safe enough right now, and I, I don't need to, you know. I don't know. I, again, that might just be my own ignorance. Yeah, that could be our own, you know, the fear mongers. Right. And we buy into it. But that's pretty much it. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's live stream, and I hope you, you know, get to go on every one of those cruises that are on your bucket list. Yeah. Um. I wish that for everybody, and I we just feel very blessed to be able to do what we're doing right now. Oh, yeah. I, I have really want to check out the – just even if uh, it's a Bahamas on a yacht cruise. Right. Just so we can promote it. But but we do – you know, we sell those kind of cruises too. We just don't go on them yet. Yeah, they're, they're pricey. Well, I don't even own the right clothes. <laughs> I don't think they allow well, fat people yeah, they, they were like, who are these people in T-shirts? Peasants. <laughs> yeah, I want to go on a sloppy well, cruise. Why are they on my cruise? <laughs> yeah. I Is that what your impression would be? Yeah. Like, I don't think I could just roll out of bed and go get a coffee on a yacht cruise. That's true. Oh, they're the Bonettis again. Oh, she wore that dress yesterday to dinner. Oh. He's got a hole in that shirt. Yeah. Yeah, we can't. Uh, yeah, maybe not. I That just... The idea of being on a yacht, yeah. But then, you know, they better provide new clothes and... Because Teach me how to walk. Me and personally, talk and me dress. personally, I wouldn't give a rat's butt. Me, yeah. But she, yeah. on the other hand, they're looking at me. She I'm thinks everybody is critiquing her. Everybody is and watching her. Laughing. Everybody's making judgments of her. And I tell her all the time, they're not. Nobody can care less. <laughs> but she doesn't believe me. And she just, she will go about that. And I just stay in my room. But, but no, I mean, I'll be like, I don't care. Uh, I don't yeah, care. I know. I don't care. I have to say, hon, your belly's hanging out. Your I'm hair. like, I'm like, cool. so let them rub it. Let me tuck it in this way and I'll go wear it out. <laughs> I'll be, maybe they think I'm Buddha and they'll rub my belly, which one person yeah. did. They did. <laughs> and he, he, and he, I didn't care. Yeah, he was good looking too. And <laughs> I, did, I did not care, but it anyway. was like a secret fantasy of Rob's. Yeah, but yeah, sure it was. That's for another podcast. But or, again, thank you again, podcast. folks, for joining us. I really, really yeah. do hope that you all get to do everything on your bucket list cruises. And um, if you do, give us a call. I could probably get you a good rate. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, and we also. You know, if you have any ideas about right. tours, we'll look up Viator is a good source too. Yeah, they they we we have all access to all different. And there's also um, another good tour provider that we use called uh, Project Exhibition. Um, Project Ex Ex Expedition. Expedition. Project Expedition. That's them. 
but that's stop the, all yeah, that drinking. yeah i gotta cut stop all that drinking right um anyway just kind of let people know what we're going to be doing here we're we were on the discovery princess so that is now you can put a line through that one we're going on the quantum of the seas on may 20th coming up real soon after that we're going to be on the celebrity beyond for an eight night aruba bonaire and curacao trip with our kids with our kids i don't know about that <laughs> then we got the celeb celebrity ascent with, with for a seven night eastern caribbean on december 8th that's cheryl's birthday cruise by the way that's um her birthday's december 9th yeah. and the cruise coming up in May on May 20th, that's my birthday, birthday cruise. And it's also sort of like our anniversary cruise because yeah. that's a little bit after our anniversary. Um, and then we have the MSC World America inaugural cruise, the seven night on May on uh, out of Miami on the 12th of April of 2025. And I did recently announce the um, with a cruise deal, the Sun Princess which is going to be really cool. That's in November 30th of 2025. Um, that one, the boys are definitely going to probably come on with us. Oh yeah. Um, that one's a great deal. We sold a ton of those mini suites. Um, there's going to be a lot of people going on that one. So if you want to come on a really great cruise on a brand new ship with, with princess, see what they are doing with their new ships. They, I think this is going to be really the kind of princess cruise we'll be hoping to see in the future rather than on those Royal Where does class it go? ships. This one goes to um, the Eastern Caribbean. So I think it's like, uh, don't quote me. I can't remember. I didn't remember. see where it's out of. Where does it leave out of? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't, it's just give me a call if you want to know. But if you want to come with us, it's the 30th of November in 2025. And they're really great rates. These are with, these prices are with Princess Plus. And those mini suites, they're huge on this ship. They're literally really like suites. So um, take a look, and that price is great. Give us a call and let us know if you want to come along with us. So, again, I hope you enjoyed your, this video, this podcast. And if you didn't, I'm sorry. If you didn't, we're sorry. We're, you know, I'll, I'll blame myself. I won't blame my wife. We're new. That's <laughs> my fault. But we're new. And um, send us content if you want us yeah, to talk let us, about us. Yeah, let us know thing. what you want to talk about next I like time. to research. She does. She's a researcher. She she just fills her time up with all sorts of playing around with research. So until we talk again, this is Rob and Cheryl from Cruise Seekers reminding each and every one of you to always seek the seas. Bye now.